This week, the girls picked their new partners from the hat and Katie and Joshua were reunited. Let's see what happened at their first rehearsal. I finally got her back, guys. I finally got her back. This contemporary piece is definitely going to challenge both Josh and I. This is more like a Romeo and Juliet kind of West Side Story thing. It's like undying love between two people. Basically, we can't live without each other in the numbers. They're kind of like us when we split apart from being partners and now we're back. Huh. Boom, beautiful. It's fun just because we've been apart for a few weeks and uh, now we get to work with each other again. Love that they're used to working with each other, so you know they've always had a good chemistry, and so they just have to rekindle. Yes. <laughs> when I was young, I never needed anyone, and making love was just fun. Those days are gone together again. Okay, Adam. Um, Tice, that's the best thing you've done all season. Little known, so you think you can dance fact. Um, Tice and I actually met working together, dancing together in 1990 on the Oscars. And a little known choreographer at the time who gave me my first shot in LA and who bred both of us choreographers is here. And she's a really cool lady by the name of Paula Abdul. Back to you guys. You are by far two of the most exciting dancers that have ever graced this stage. But there's nothing more exciting than the perfect combination of a pairing between uh, two dancers and a choreographer. And you guys just became like the holy trinity of So You Think You Can Dance. So congratulations, that was awesome! with passion, strength, the leaps, that leap catch was just out of this world. There were several of them where you twisted and turned in the air and the catches, phenomenal. It was the most beautiful thing too, I have to say, that I've seen on the show. Nigel said I made a bold statement, Joshua, about you a couple weeks ago and I said that I see you in the finale. I don't think it was a bold statement whatsoever. I see both of you heading that direction. That's all I can say. To peer pressure. Nigel Lithgow, what did you think? You know, one of the great things about this show is that we do spotlight the choreographers. This evening, we are graced with the presence of one of the world's greatest choreographers. She choreographed The Phantom of the Opera, she choreographed Cats. Miss Gillian Lynn is here. Hello, Gillian. And I know Jilly comes from a school of choreography that would absolutely have adored that routine and would have realized how, <laughs> absolutely, how beautifully it was danced by you two. And, and I've still got to get it in my head, Joshua, 
that you have had no classical training. I mean, this is outrageous. You were absolutely brilliant in that. You know, we expect beautiful lines from Katie. She's had training, but we don't expect it from you. I was so pleased when I heard you were paired up again. I know a lot of our audience were. And, and you delivered. You delivered brilliantly. Thank you. Katie takes the floor alone after the break. After the break, after the break. 